the British Steel Challenge is one of the toughest challenges you can do in Football Manager right now. There are 31 trophies that you have to win in this challenge from nations from England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, making up the United Kingdom, hence the British Steel Challenge. Have you got the steel to take on this challenge? And if you have, this video is perfect for you because I'm going to give you the top five clubs that I would choose to start off the British Steel Challenge with. Now, if you wanted to do it in a non-traditional way, you could start unemployed with no badges and make it even harder for yourself. But if you want to, if you want to live life a little bit easier, then here is the top five teams to do this with. In fifth place is Barrytown in Wales. Why not kick off your journey where Gavin and Stacey was set at a club like Barrytown. They're a good side in Wales. I mean, you're probably the, the answer to the question is why haven't you picked TNS to start? That would make it far too easy and not as enjoyable, in my opinion. I think, think picking a team like Barrytown is a great choice. You could pick any other team in the Welsh League apart from TNS, in my opinion. I, I've gone Barrytown because I'm a big fan of Gavin and Stacey, the TV show. And the club vision is work within the budget, grow the club's reputation, finish mid-table, reach the last stages of the cup and reach the last stages of the Nathaniel MG Cup as well. So some fairly straightforward objectives right off the bat there. So nothing too challenging in the first season, but you can build a good squad here and challenge TNS and beyond. And I feel like it'd be a bit more of an achievement if you did it with a club like Barrytown rather than TNS in winning the Welsh competition. £39,000 in the bank. Welsh football doesn't have a lot of money, so that's fairly good to see a an actual profitable club there. In terms of debts and loans, there's no transfer debt, no net debt as well. So you've got a perfect bank balance to deal with that as well. So you've got a good, clean start to the save, I would say, in my opinion. And in terms of their squad, their best, their best players are Ben Blythe, who is a centre-back on loan from Swansea. Now, you're going to want to rinse that Swansea and Cardiff whenever they release players, get them in, loan as many players as you can from Swansea and Cardiff. They're going to be far too good for the Welsh Premier League and they will help you along in this save and overpower and overthrow TNS in this save but he's a good player to have right at the start there Ollie Hubert as well is a good striker to have he's very good at this level played for Leamington played for Pimmer for Yeovil so he's got some experience there he's an advanced forward 20 years of age plenty of potential and he's got potential to bag you goals and push you on and try and win those Welsh trophies in this British Steel Challenge. Will you start with Barrytown or will you pick another Welsh side? Let me know in the comments below and if you love save recommendation videos don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Fourth on my list is third division Northern Irish side Bally McCash Rangers. Now I picked them because of the name I'm not going to sit here and pretend I don't know much about Northern Irish third division teams but if you've got to win all the trophies on this British Steel Challenge and starting off in the bottom division of a nation you need to win every trophy and just feels right to me because you're gonna to have to win that division and all the cups that come with it as well so why not start off with a sort of almost like a Northern Irish non-league to Premier League type save and win all the trophies with one team in Northern Ireland that'll be some achievement I mean you don't have to do that you can switch clubs around in different divisions in higher divisions etc but i feel like this would be such a great thing to do if you can build this club particularly into being one of the best teams in northern ireland and taking over teams like linfield for example now the club vision is fairly straightforward you've got to work within a budget you've got to finish in the top half of the table reach the clear water irish cup proper reach the last stage of the mid ulster cup and be competitive in the intermediary cup so plenty of cups to get your teeth stuck into here in northern ireland and try and win i feel like this will be one of the best saves you could start off with northern irish club why not i've never managed in the northern irish division so i don't know what it's like but i'm sure it will be hella hella fun in terms of finances 5k in the bank for a third division northern irish side is you know there's you can't argue with that at least you're not in minus to start off with debts and loans no net debt no transfer debt so clean slate you can make this club into a powerhouse there's nothing going to hold you back on this save in terms of their squad their best players is benny i'm not even going to try and pronounce his last name because i will absolutely ruin it he's been around the leagues he looks very good as a poacher for this division he's got some decent stats got good finishing 11 finishing for third division northern irish side is not to be sniffed at and alongside benny you've got players like mackenzie paulie as well amateur goalkeeper is an amateur football club the decent goalkeeper's got good determination 20 year old northern irish on no wages can't go wrong there i feel like this is a club you could really build up and take forward jordan morrison as well is a very good player I'm worth 2k so he's worth half your bank balance just out of interest this is a great team to be go out and do this go and be this northern irish side and build them into the best side in northern ireland 
In third place is a Scottish Cinch League 2 side called the Spartans. And if you're saying Spartans, what is my profession? Then you've watched a very good film in 300. There's a lot of Spartan puns that we could do here. But let's be interested in the football. And what a team you could be to unlock and overbeat the old firm in the Spartans. If you can move the old firm away, push the Spartans in, what a heroic victory that would be. It would be comparable to the victory that they had at Thermopylae. Although it was a defeat, it's technically a victory. But we won't get into the historical facts of that now. We'll get into what the club vision and what the club want you to do. Reach the League 2 playoffs, be competitive in all of the cups, which is fair enough, as you can see, three cups in Scotland. And then obviously the leagues to win as well, four leagues for you to win in Scotland. So plenty of trophies up in Scotland to win. Not much money up in Scottish football, I have to admit, but seeing 70k in the bank balance is very, very good. No transfer debt and no net debt as well, which is a clean slate. Like with all recommendations so far on this video, gives you a bit of a knee up when you're trying to win trophies and trying to attract players to your football club. In terms of the squad, Callum Booth is an unbelievable left back on loan from St. Johnston in Cinch League 2. He's been around the Scottish football for a long time. He's played for Dundee, Park Thistle, St. Johnston. Been around. He's a great experienced player to have. Former Scotland under 21 international will be a big boost to your squad in the first season. Reese Armstrong as well is a very good player in the centre of the park. 10 goals in 30 games for the Spartans already. We'll score goals from the middle of the park. Call him the Cinch League 2 Lampard. He's going to be absolutely key in pushing your club forward can you make the spartans the biggest and best club in scotland what a team to do it with and what a series that would be if you are old like me you will remember that boston united used to feature heavily on soccer am as boston goals and this is the reason why i've picked them for my number two choice in terms of the british steel challenge they are in the vanarama national league north so you do start off at that bottom point which is key i think in my opinion in winning all the trophies there's no point starting off at say a man city and going down the leagues that would just be a bit a bit pointless but if you want to do it that way hey you do it that way but for me this is the best way to do it now the club club vision is work within the budget grow the club's reputation vanarama national league playoffs and i mean the trophy you want to win is the fa trophy which might be difficult in the first season because vanarama national league teams are going to be very very good at doing that as well so that's going to be tricky but you will win it at some point I mean, stay for another few seasons, then move on if you wanted to, but make sure you win those National League trophies that you can get. In terms of the finances, 264k in the bank is massive for this level. That's that's huge funds. That's unbelievable to see, in my opinion. Debts and loans, again, nothing there for you to worry about. No no transfer debt, no net debt. Things we love to see, just no debt, just debt-free. None of that racking up massive amounts of debts, not being able to pay it back. In terms of your best players, you've got Deji who is on loan from Doncaster. He's played at Burnley and Kilmarnock. He's a very good winger for this level. I mean, that pace is unbelievable for non-league level. This guy's going to be a beast. Think Kylian Mbappe of the National League North. This is exactly what Deji is for Boston United. Then you've got players like Keziah Martin, Bermuda, and we'll probably play for Bermuda as well. Played for Barnsley, Solihull Mules, and Kidderminster as well. Very solid central midfield player for this level. As well, they've got a good squad. I have to say, you should be pushing on with this team. Cameron Gregory's a very good goalkeeper to have at this level. Former Shrewsbury Kettering goalkeeper, and he's played 16 times already for Boston, so knows the football club. You got a solid base. What more could you want to win the National League North title and the FA Trophy as well? Will you take Boston on, and will you relive those moments that they had in Boston goals? <laughs> In first place, and you can call me bias, I've gone for a Vanarama National League south side in England. I think it's the best place to start. I feel like it's probably the most enjoyable league to start in as well. And I've gone with Averley because it's their first time in Football Manager. And it'd be great to take a team that I predicted to finish bottom all the way through the English Pyramid. You mean you don't have to in this challenge, but I mean, I would just be very tempted to do it that way. But you can, you know, you can move clubs as we have mentioned before. Now, the club vision is you've got to avoid relegation and be competitive in the trophies as well. So avoiding relegation will be fairly straightforward. They've got a very good team in real life. They're high flying at the moment. They won't be relegated this season, in my opinion. But here we are in terms of finances, 228k, big, big money down there as well. They get a lot of fans going to the games as well. It's a very community based football club. No transfer debt, no net debt. The Holy Trinity, good money in the bank, no debt. That's what we love to see. Sounding a bit like a financial advisor here, but you want to start off with clubs that don't have net debt and transfer debt. It just makes your life so much easier. You want to make it harder? Pick a club with stacks of this, and then you'll find out exactly how hard Football Manager can be. But that is a different video, and I do have that video on my channel. It is the top five hardest challenges to do in Football Manager. You will see 
you know, clubs with the, the this like nearly a billion pounds worth of debt. But we get sidetracked. We move on in terms of the squad. They've got a good squad. Arjunat Krasniki is a very good player. Played for Chelmsford Dover. Been around the lower leagues. He's a Kosovan player. He'll be very, very good. He's very good at this level. We'll score you goals. We'll get goals. He's a, he's a decent, decent baller. Got Gareth Kelly as well. Garrett Kelly even, sorry, my bad. He's got he's a good player for this level, works hard, he's got good aggression, will put his foot in a tackle, be a very, you know, player that gets a lot of yellow cards, but it's probably you need to play some sort of Brexit football to stay up in the first season. In any case. And I'm sure the fans will love that as well, in my humble opinion. Midfield partner him, Michael Dada, he's a very good player as well. Another Met Zayla, 13 work rate. He's got some good stats, could probably play at a higher level as well Averley should be the club that you start this challenge with in my humble opinion but the british still challenge is one of the best challenges out there and you can do it as you please but let me know in the comments below if you've done this challenge if you attempted to try this challenge i'm very tempted to do this one day and i think i'll put it on my bucket list of challenges to complete in football manager and i will see you on another video